Hey folks, Doug Blake with Body Design University. And in today's video, I want to show you how chapter two and some of the elements in chapter two can actually help you to pass your exam, your ACE exam, uh, basically by knowing and understanding uh, issues related to the IFT model, the ACE integrated fitness training model. And why am I uh, bringing you back to chapter two, especially if you've gone through the book, is because in some cases, it's actually a good idea to go back and get some a general sort of overview of some of the information. You know, as you get through the textbook and you start hitting more in-depth, more precise material, more in-depth material related to the cardiovascular training, cardiovascular assessments, the muscular training component as well. Once you start diving deep, deep, deep in there, what I hear all the time from students is they get frustrated because it's hard to memorize. This is where um, it's not a bad idea to actually come up for a breath of air. And I will say that's basically what I have found chapter two um, is able to do for most, for most students. Um, just keep in mind, there's no there's no magic. There's no tricks to studying and memorizing the information. There really isn't. If there is, please let me know because I've been doing this a uh, pretty long time and I've never found any magic tricks. There are tips. There are ways that you can access and engage information to help you memorize the material so that you can then answer the questions correctly. And um, Ace actually did, in my opinion, a pretty good job by putting this information right up front uh, before you make it through into the more in-depth material. So, and that's what I want to talk about in this, in this particular video, because there's a couple of things here that if you read through, it doesn't take very long to go through chapter two. I mean, if you want to read through the entire, entire chapter, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's just that there's a lot of really good general information and believe it or not, some specific information right here that <clears throat> that Ace will ask you on a question. And uh, this is where they can kind of throw you off a little bit, because if they ask you a question about base training and the cardiorespiratory component, you might be thinking, oh, man, I need to go to chapter whatever it is, whatever. I don't even remember what the specific chapter that is in. But in chapter two, where they give you a, a broad general overview the answer might literally be right in there. And I've had students actually tell me that after they've taken the exam that, yeah, it actually helped to go through chapter two. So again, before we before we actually get started, keep in mind, read, write, recite. I always have a pad, pen, pencil. If you've watched any, any of the videos that we do here at Body Design University, when it comes to memorizing material, um, it's not a bad idea, irrespective of your learning style and learn your learning style, know what your learning style is. Okay. You can um, access that just uh, Google uh, learning style testing, and you can take some online tests. Most people actually already know if you don't like to sit here and read information or you start to lose focus when you read, you're probably, probably more than likely in either an audiological or a tactile learner. But irrespective of that, you still have to read and rewrite it. That is the key. Over and over, um, I tell folks the same thing. It's a challenge for a lot of folks to do this. So along with kind of looking at the material, I'm always toggling back and forth here to help you to actually memorize it in a way that doesn't get you frustrated. You know, think about it. You're sitting here reading and, and you know, many of you are like this leave it in the comments and and go, yeah, thumbs up, because you know exactly what I'm going to tell you right now. You start reading, 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 15 minutes later, 20 minutes later, 30 minutes later, you're off on some other planet and you don't even know what you're reading anymore. You just wasted 15 minutes of your time. This is a, uh, this is a common, it's more common than not, to be honest with you, uh, especially with the students that, that I talk with on a regular basis trying to get information, engage it in a way that works for your brain is critical. So in chapter two, just as a, for instance, and by the way, I, I'm able to actually pull this up on the screen so I can, you know, I can show you if you have, by the way, for some of you, you, um, you purchased, 
uh, whatever you purchased the package from Ace, you would have gotten a digital copy of their textbook, which is great and absolutely nothing wrong with it. My preference is to have the textbook and I only use this digital copy that you see on your screen right now as I'm sharing it with you just to go through it quickly with you. The other thing that's also good, I'm not even on chapter two, I guess quite yet, this is still an introduction, is you have the ability when you do like a practice test or you need to know something quickly and find it in the textbook, you can just go right here and find it uh, in particular, the chapter that you need to go to. Or for instance, you can you can put it in the in the box that simply asks for a word or a term. Boom, it'll take you right to that page. So that's one of the benefits of using uh, using this uh, particular um, online digital copy. So nevertheless, I still prefer right taking it right from the textbook. So that's why I have it back and forth. And I'll I'll kind of move on and off as you can see uh, right here. So I can show you a little bit what I'm doing and I can show you what it looks like on the page, page 43 specifically. Now, again, I'm not going through the whole chapter. We have, we have this in our exam uh, study prep where we do an entire uh, chapter, every chapter in the book, by the way. But in this case, I want to hit on some very specific elements, uh, particularly because I've had some questions on it uh, just recently. So read, write, recite, got my pen colored markers, anything that can help you draw. All of those provide some visual stimulation and acuity for those of you that um, have sort of an attention deficit scenario where you can't focus for very long. This could be helpful. So if you're if you look at page 43 and I'm showing you in the in the hardbound textbook or again, we can just look at it here on page 43. You're going to, and again, read through this. There's nothing wrong with obviously reading through this. I wouldn't necessarily worry a whole lot about table two one, but I would be familiar um, with some of the uh, differences that you see here. Um, it's not a bad idea to kind of keep that in your mind because they uh, have been known, ACE has been known to ask questions, particularly right from that table. All of this is really good information from a real world perspective. And then you're going to get to uh, introduction to the integrated fitness training or the IFT model. Once again, all good, interesting information, but I want to get you to a little bit more of the meat and potatoes, which is on page 43. And here's what I want you to focus on. I'm going to pull up the, I'm going to pull up my uh, marker here and I'm going to show you. Uh, on page 43, this starts the differentiation between the two the two parallel sides of the IFT model, which is uh, cardio respiratory training and muscular muscular training, right? So using resistance training, all those other things that go that are involved with muscular training. And again, this is giving you a nice broad overview. And what I want you to do is I want you to look right here where it says base training. Now, again, for the most part, you may just fly right through here because it's just text. And when we see text, right, just the written word, we tend to, our eyes tend to roll in the back of our heads. But what I want you to do is I want you to focus here on what they're, on what they're asking, or excuse me, not what they're asking, but what they're, I'm asking you to look at this, but what they say about the, uh, base training. And believe it or not, this is really important because they can ask you a question, um, you know, based on this type of training scenario, um, initial aerobic base uh, training uh, for uh, inactive individuals, where would you begin them, for instance, in the uh, IFT model, some sort of question like that. So what you should do in this case from chapter two is from a memorization perspective, read this area right here. Base training is focused on developing an initial aerobic base in clients who have been insufficiently active. That is critical. And once you get through um, reading through that one area and fitness training and performance training, remember, remember there's three, there's these three phases right here, base, fitness, and performance. 
But look, they've done for you. And this is why I want you to look through chapter two. They have given you table two, two. This is basically a synopsis. Again, one of the tips, it's not a trick, but one of the tips here when you're going through these chapters is ask yourself a question. Have they given you a general synopsis of all of this information right here? And the answer to that is yes. So you have everything you need right here in table two, two. And so if you look at base training, you look at fitness training, what I, what I always recommend is when you get to tables like that, see, I'm going back and forth with you, is come back over and rewrite it. That table has given you everything you need to know in, the, in basically a page and a half. And so this is where um, knowing your learning style, knowing yourself when it comes to reading this, if you start losing focus while you're reading through all of that text, not a problem because what, what ACE did for you on page 45 is they gave you in table two, two, a, a basic summary of all of this information. I hope that, I hope that makes sense. The idea is that in this one table, you have all this information for the most part. Okay. And, and we could actually go through each of these, uh, bullet points. So focus on moderate intensity, uh, cardiorespiratory exercise, uh, rating of perceived exertion is equal to, you know, three to four, by the way, that's a very important number from a testing perspective. And then you can read through this. Now I will tell you something else. Here is another really good tip. You'll notice that their bullet points are approximately a full sentence of anywhere between five to 10 words. My recommendation, let me do this. Let me get out of here and watch what I do. I'm going to, I'm going to grab my pad and I want you to basically watch what I do. I'm going to look at what they wrote, focus on moderate intensity, cardio respiratory exercise, but while keeping an emphasis on enjoyment. Um, think about this. Can you make that any simpler? Can you actually make that sentence any simpler? Here's the tip. When you rewrite what they have in there, rewrite it in your own words. That's really, really important. And what I've always tried to do is I try to make every complicated sentence, every long multiple sentence, and you're going to see that throughout this entire textbook. Um, you're going to want to try and hone that down into one, two, maybe three words as best as you can why? Because it's easier to memorize three words versus an entire sentence um, and a concept. So I'm going to try this for you right now. Focus on moderate. Stay with me. You're on page 45. Focus on moderate uh, intensity cardiorespiratory exercise, RPE three to four. First word that you can immediately remove from this sentence is focus and therefore on. So just get rid of focus on. Base training. When you think of base training, moderate, moderate intensity, three to four. That's what I would write. So I would make my chart just like this. And I would say base, base training. Okay, see, I'm right. You got to write it. You got to write it. Let me say it again. You need to write it and rewrite it. That's what gets it up into here. So base training. I've got an entire sentence and I'm simply going to do it in my own words. This could be yours now if you if you if you wanted to. Mod int moderate intensity M O D I N T um R P E R P E three three to four, right? You you'll know what the RP scale is. And then just write parentheses, enjoy. So one, two, three, I could say three and four is four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 words I condensed down to five. Okay, that's how, that's, you're, you're getting an inside view of my brain. That's how I do it. I want to make it simple. And that's what I would do with this. And I would write that that is going to help me from a testing perspective. 
during base base uh, phase training, uh, you should uh, train your new client with uh, a moderate to um, you know difficult, low to moderate, moderate to high, whatever the case is, um, or moderate RP three to four. What's the answer? Get it? That's how you that's how you would answer a question like this. And remember what Ace will do to hit you with with sort of challenging questions is they'll give you a scenario and they'll say something like a client comes in with these uh, with these particular uh, variables and they'll give you those variables, their age, male or female, uh, previous experience, yada, yada. Um, and they're going to ask you to determine or they're going to want you to determine what uh, where will you begin this individual in the cardiorespiratory uh, side of the IFT model? Base or, you know, whatever, base and performance, whatever the case is. So that's what you want to do is you want to memorize the chart, but do it in your own words. Um, and so that's table uh, 2.2. There is your tip. Like I say, I'm not going to go through every part of, of, um, chapter two for you. But the point is, is that if you do these, these simple things and the same thing holds true when you get to page 46 on the muscular training side of it. Okay. So when you're on the muscular training right here on page 46, it's going to be the same thing. And you're going to go through a lot of information, load speed training and voila, what do you got? There it is. Table 2.3. So now you've got table 2.3. Okay. And here we go. Table 2.3, right? There it is. Table 2.3. It's going to be the same thing, folks. Same thing. That's the tip. Now let's, uh, why don't we do this? Let's just for fun, let's take a look at the movement training part. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And you're looking at that and I'm asking you, I'm asking you to memorize that. Well, that's not fair, is it? Why right? does all of these sentences that you, no, don't do that. Look at those sentences. Let's take a look at it again. Look at those sentences and ask yourself this question. How can you make this, this particular, this guy right here, that particular that particular one, how can you make that simpler? Let's take a look. Programs should include exercises for all five primary movement patterns in varied planes of motion. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's 15 words. That's a full sentence. Um, how would you simplify that in your own words to put into your chart for memorization? Well, you don't need programs should include exercises. You would just write all five primary movements get rid of patterns just all five primary movements varied something like that planes of you know planes of motion i don't even think you need that but see what i did one two three now i'm at four words versus 15 and i hope that again that's just a tip that i want you to use this is how this is one of the reasons why you can actually uh use chapter two to help you pass the ACE exam. If you have any questions um, on this or you have comments you want to make, please leave them below. You know, doing a, a study in more, more in-depth study like this allows for a little bit more explanation of those areas that you may be struggling with. But again, the tips are generally going to be um, easy enough to where no matter what your learning style is, you'll be able to read it and rewrite it. So that's how you use chapter two to kind of help you through the rest of this uh, textbook, particularly when we're talking about program design and assessments, things like that, particularly program design because of the IFT model itself. So look, as always, it's a pleasure helping you uh, helping you understand this information in the ACE 6th edition. If you have questions, if you want to know more about this particular area or any part of the, uh, the textbook itself, if you're struggling with any particular uh, concept or even a particular 
chapter, uh, please let us know. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, and you'll know when all this uh, new material is coming out. As always, it's a pleasure. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week. Thanks.